the Japanese sit right behind the Swiss in watchmaking prowess. We all love the likes of Citizen, Orion and Seiko for their incredible watches at an affordable price point. However, we don't really see many micro brands emerging from Japan like Baltic from France or Brew from the United States. But finally, we have a Japanese micro brand that us enthusiasts can get excited about. Today, I have their most popular model in for review. And in this video, I'm going to be discussing this under the radar Japanese micro brand that you should definitely know about. Let's go. It seems like almost every country in the world has an abundance of watch micro brands. I do a series here on YouTube called Watch Brands That You Should Know, where I cover a range of different micro brands from various countries. When I made the episode on Japan, it became clear that there were actually very few, which is surprising when Japan has such a rich history in watchmaking. One of the brands that I featured in that video though was Kuo. It was in fact the first brand that featured in the video. After the launch of that episode, Kuo got in touch and asked me if I would like to review a watch from them. But before we get into the watch that Kuo has sent to me, let's take a look at the roots of this brand because it's a very interesting story. To get a full understanding of this watch brand and what it represents, let's go back to the very beginning. Kuo was founded fairly recently, during what was possibly one of the strangest years of our lives, in 2020. But the inspiration for the brand actually started much earlier. Founder Ushimura was studying here in the United Kingdom back in 2010. One day, when he wasn't studying, he decided to go shopping. London, where he was staying, is well known for its incredible and historic antique stores. He entered one of these stores, with an interest in vintage and old-fashioned items. During the visit, he stumbled across some vintage wristwatches. He was truly fascinated at how such small mechanical objects still worked after 70 years of use. In those precious moments, his love for vintage timepieces began. After graduating from university, Ushimura moved back to Kyoto, Japan, where he worked in a watch shop, slowly learning the tricks of the industry and gaining the knowledge of running a wristwatch business. Eventually, he decided to go out on his own to start his very own watch brand, all based around those British vintage watches that started his interest. This initial inspiration is very clear to see in their catalogue of watches. The classic British vibes breathes right through every release, with most models taking design cues from old school British military watches. But all Kuo models share a very uniform design language, with white dials, Arabic numerals and railway minute tracks, meaning that all models share DNA that reminds you very much that this is a Kuo watch. When modern watch brands do vintage inspired, they tend to only do so with the visual design, but miss the main part of what makes vintage watches so special, that being the case, shape and size. I'm pleased to say that all Kuo models come in a classically sized case, with most models coming in with a 35mm case diameter, but the thickness of the case and lug to lug makes the watches wearable even on average sized wrists. So Kuo is a Japanese watch brand that I think deserves a lot more attention. Their watches are timelessly elegant and absolutely stunning. So let's take a look at the old Smith model and break down exactly what you can expect from this brand. Firstly, the unboxing experience with Kuo is one of the best I've seen from an affordable brand. You are first greeted with a tote bag with the branding printed on. This could absolutely be used for traveling or storage. A really high quality bag. The box itself is lovely and feels much more premium than other watch brands. Then opening up the box is another pleasure. You see the stunning watch with a second supplied strap, which are both fantastic. More on them later though. You also get plenty of instructions and a signed warranty card. Everything here is top tier and Kuo has executed the unboxing experience perfectly. So here we have the Kuo Oldsmith 002. I personally selected this one from their catalogue to review. It was the stunning green textured dial that really caught my attention, but more on this later. Kicking things off, we have a full stainless steel construction, including a signed screw down crown and case back, aiding this watch having an impressive 100 meters of water resistance. Of course, meaning it's capable of swimming, snorkeling and getting in the shower. We see a highly domed mineral crystal on this model, but a sapphire upgrade is available for a higher price. Inside the Old Smith, we have the Seiko NH38 no date automatic movement. Although there is a version with the NH35 with a date window available, this is a very well-built watch. It feels incredibly tough and rugged, exactly what a field watch should be. Next up, let's take a look at that beautiful dial because it has a hell of a lot of detail for the price being charged. 
watch. The Old Smith has a dirty dozen field watch design. This is a style of watch produced for the British military back in World War II, but it has been used in field watch designs ever since. This can be identified with the minute train track and larger hour markers every three hours. The indices are large, white and applied. They really pop on the dial and make the watch super legible, which is sometimes an issue with smaller watches, but certainly not here. The hands have a polished finish filled with lube. The branding and text above and below the pinion are not applied, but it seems that the area has been raised on the dial because they sit at a higher level than the rest of it. But for me, the most impressive part of the dial is the texture. The Old Smith has a fine grain effect that looks super sharp and well executed. Overall, I'm so impressed with the level of detail on the dial. Usually everything is just printed on this style of watch, but Kuo have gone to great lengths to provide a ton of detail to the customer. Strapping the watch on your wrist is just a pleasure. If you guys appreciate smaller watches like I do, then you're in for a treat. The Old Smith comes in with a 35mm case diameter, a 42mm lug to lug and a 12mm thickness. But don't be fooled by the 35mm case and think that this watch is tiny. It wears great because of the lug to lug and thickness, allowing for a good amount of wrist presence while still remaining classical and elegant, which is a very hard thing to pull off by the way, especially with a field watch design. The watch also features an 18mm lug width and this watch is a proper strap monster. I've tried it on a few different straps now and all of them just look amazing. Although with the quality of the supplied straps, you'll probably never even need to change them. The supplied NATO is a single pass with leather keepers. I've worn this one around six times now and it still looks pristine. Great quality. The Italian brown leather strap is fantastic too. You can feel the quality in your hands. A huge step above what other brands usually ship around this price point. Both straps also come with a signed buckle. Again, the details are key here. You can see the quality when looking close. If you look at the bottom of the dial, you'll see the words Japan made, which is actually a rare thing to see even from the giants of Seiko and Citizen. As usually, these brands produce their more affordable watches in Korea and other Asian countries. So it's not like Kuo are trying to be something they're not here. They're proudly displaying that they are a Japanese brand and a bloody good one at that. Now I do have one big complaint with this version of the Old Smith though, which is something that is super annoying, but it can be avoided by you. I didn't ask for the Sapphire upgrade because I wanted to check out the most affordable option, but the domed mineral crystal does give off a lot of reflection, sometimes too much. So I would absolutely recommend paying the extra for the Sapphire upgrade, which does come with plenty of anti-reflective coatings. But honestly, that's my only negative with this watch. Kuo has absolutely hit it out of the park with this release. The quality is so high and the price is so reasonable. This hands down beats anything that Seiko or Orient offers around this price point and it's not even close. It's clear that this watch brand is aimed at enthusiasts. I mean, what regular person would want to wear a 35mm field watch that doesn't even include a date complication? It takes a proper watch nut to appreciate what Kuo does here with the Old Smith, taking confidence in the details, an appreciation for the smaller things, a celebration of British watchmaking but following the Japanese tradition of creating great watches themselves. And considering that this brand is only three years old, I'm very excited to see what they have coming in the future. So although this is only my first Kuo watch, it's certainly not going to be my last. Be sure to head over to TopTierTicker.com for the very best in affordable, pre-owned and discontinued watches. The link is in the description. If you liked this video and want to learn more about some Japanese watch brands, be sure to watch my video here on screen on 10 Japanese watch brands that you should know.